YouTube, this is Covered in Credits! And today, I cashed in my movie waiver to make Stair see Great Wall. Last week, I made him watch Lego Batman, <laughs> which he didn't regret. This week, he made me watch Great Wall, which has been out for a week or two. But we just not got a chance to see it because there were other movies. And bailed on me last week. <laughs> this is true. We were supposed to see it last Friday. I ended up not being able to do that. So it happens. Uh, I think I owed you a few mails on. Eh, it, we, it, it equals out. However, point being, Matt Damon. What was the lead actress's name? Even I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it was. That's like even this the guy that played the secondary part to Matt Damon. I'm not sure his name. Neither one of them. Okay. Neither one of nobody in this movie, other than maybe Willem Dafoe at times, acted badly. Okay, overacting and acting badly to me are not necessarily the same thing. Because mm -hmm. there's a difference when you watch somebody who's a bad actor, and you watch somebody like Matt Damon who knows a good actor just overact. Does that make sense? Yes. This I movie think. may have been full of overacting, but I mean, they weren't necessarily bad acting. The, as I told Stair when we got out, this movie seemed like something I stayed up till four o'clock in the morning to finish watching on sci-fi. I'm not disagreeing, it's... other than the graphics of the creatures are probably better than a sci-fi show. Oh, way better. Other than that. Way, way better. Um, I want to say this was like one of the most expensive movies shot in China ever. I, we'll have to look that up. I, if I can find that statistic, I will post it here. Um, I just, but I can't really decide what they spend their money on. Graphics, CG. I want to say acting, because there was a lot of fucking acting. They paid. They paid them to overdo it. Um, everything about this movie. How about extras? How much of the <sighs> foot movement and like. Was CG yeah. and how much was people? I think it was mostly people. Because if you if you actually if they actually paid the extras to do the like the troop movement, then that could be a large amount. My see the thing about this movie is is it had a chance to not be terrible. And I say this about most sci-fi movies, because most sci-fi movies end up in the end being terrible, and this one definitely is, it's in there. It's somewhere. It's not quite as bad as a lot that I've seen. It's no Tremors 2. It's no Fantastic Four. <sighs> yeah. My point We're is... We're not there. ...that this movie was not great by any stretch of the imagination. Is it fun? Yeah. It, it's kind of fun. Uh, the whole thing was so needlessly overblown. What, what do you mean by that? Well, it's like everything was needlessly just complicated. I will agree that it's like, like okay, overly ornate, overly ornate, and extremely to the extreme. Yeah, it's like okay, we have this giant wall, and yet we're gonna have these crazy chicks take spears and jump off for I, no reason. I was like, what? What is they... the point of even having a fucking wall? Why do you have it? to have like bungee jumping and spear girls? Nothing made any remote amount of sense. And, like I said, the whole thing was just overdone. And then, like, at the end, when they're in the tunnel, why was there water there? Not it was a canal. Dead. It was a canal. I don't know if it was. He said it was a canal under the city. You're talking about under the city, right? Uh -huh. He said it was a canal under the city. Why is your canal an inch deep? Uh, maybe because they can <laughs> dam it to where there's not always water. You're making excuses for the movie. I'm right? making plausible excuses. What, uh, I don't, my point what is I'm that... saying is, why don't you get a larger magnet? Why don't you get, like, more? You can't tell me there's no magnets in fucking China. <laughs> it's fucking... I just, it's like... I just... I was like, whoa, magnets? Wait, magnets? How do they work? It's like the second largest country in the whole world. I just... Especially at the time of this movie. It, and the easily. Movie, the, largest the largest country in the whole yes. world. I just... I, I, Willem Dafoe <laughs> plays the, this guy that was just, like... Lying in wait for his time to strike. And then everything beginning of this movie happens and the time to strike is now. I don't... I don't know what to say. Okay, anyway. so should we should we try to break down a little bit more of the acting other than just saying it was overly acted? And the bad thing is, even Damon 
overacting. Even Matt Damon was overacting. Yeah. I, <laughs> and like I said, just the plot was not great. And what this bad. seems like, this seems like somebody that was writing, hear me out now, writing a fantasy novel to the extent to be as detailed of the world as possible. Okay? And then they put all of it on film. Like, talking about the style of, like, uniform and uh, why, why each guy, group... <laughs> why was the guy in his full battle armor washing fucking dishes? <laughs> I don't know. What was the point of that? Or the, the why was everybody color-coordinated? Why did they... They were all the same, arm, like, order. Why was he... Why were they all color-coordinated? Here's a question. The blue chicks bungee jump. The black guys are hand to hand. The red guys are archers. What are the gold ones? I don't know. No one did. They never <laughs> showed them fighting. They're like this. They, they had logistics. They carry stuff around. No, because <laughs> like they, they had the one strategist, strategist, not strategist, and he was the like golden strategist. Yeah, that's true. But he was he was it, the one guy. Mm. So I was like, uh, I was like, what do the gold guys do? You don't even need a strategist when you're just holding a wall. Because they knew it was coming up to the time period when they'd come back. The, when he explained the story of these. Now this is a minor spoiler. Not really. You know they're fighting something. Okay. When he talked about the story of how there was a meteor and it turned the mountain green. Mm -hmm. Why don't you go to the mountain during those 60 years? Whoa, 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 shit. Whoa. <laughs> I'm just Whoa. like... That's just crazy talk. I'm just so like... Uh, what? But why didn't you just... Crazy talk. I was hoping at the end they'd be like, so now we rebuilt the bottom quarter of our wall with uh, magnetized bricks. And we went automatically. Yes. And they're like, oh, oh, stop. <laughs> I... Like I said, was it fun? Yes, it's fun. It's a fun movie. There was actually a decent, like, little crowd in that theater. Uh, could have used a giant electromagnet. They could have harnessed lightning and made the electromagnet. Tesla coil. And killed them all. There's like a big Tesla coil out there. There's a whoa, 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 whoa. That'd have been fun. Somewhere Tesla's frowning and crying. Somewhere Einstein's taking credit. Um, so, I, with, now, uh, with the CG, set pieces, really cool. Um... They creatures had a lot of really cool set. Creatures were really the set cool. Was, the set was too cool. That was a problem. It's like, <laughs> check out these like thousand shirtless men turning cranks for no reason. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure none of this technology actually. Happened. What was weird too was why was it that okay, if he's in full armor washing dishes, why do everybody else underground working on that next level is shirtless? What? <laughs> You're trying to... Okay, just, just then, give him a rating. Just agree, give him a rating. I was like, why? But why? None just of it made that. sense. None of it was useful. Every The plot was like Swiss cheese. Just just tell me a rating and we'll get this over with. A five out of ten. I'm going to go a five, too. I just, oh, what do we give Mad Max? A four? A three? I don't, I don't remember. I thought we were close to five. Because, again, the visuals were awesome, but the plot was lacking. I'm going to give it a five. Here, I don't know if it even deserves a five. I, I, it might get a four. If you enjoy sci-fi movies, you got to give this one a watch. At least once. Wait till it's out. Rent it. Because it is funny at times. Like, they tried for humor at times. It didn't hit. You know? Like the good old behind the wall. I heard that, like, come on. Like, what? I know after this we done filming here, Kevin and I are gonna continue I'm discussing. I'm totally proud of him though. For for doing it. For sci-fi movies, no gratuitous nudity thrown in for no reason. And and I thought that there was a couple times that it definitely could have gone. That I thought way. it was a gone that way. I Easily. thought they were going off the. Edge. Every time they showed the main girl just staring contently at Damon, every time that happened two or three different times, we're like, he's doing something. Looks over through a ladder under pulleys and chains, and she's staring right back at him. And it's like, 
How could she even see he was there? Whoa. And then... They're being invaded by aliens. Priorities. Yeah, I'm sort of proud of him. Because, I mean, in every other sci-fi movie, everyone's always naked and getting eaten by monsters. And here, no nudity, <laughs> still eaten by monsters. Just goes to show you that getting naked is definitely fine during a catastrophe. Because you're going to get eaten either way, so you might as well enjoy it before the end. Which is a which is a plausible wonder. Life because lesson learned. They always say in in the traumatic in traumatic uh, situations, usually the ones who end up naked die first. And look at all the horror movies. You know what I mean. That, so that's an interesting dichotomy. Um, I was wrong. Kevin and I had a little bet going on the over under if we would see a dragon in this movie. I won. I took the over. Kevin. Gets his uh, chip back for you're going to see a movie now. Uh, granted, these next few weeks, I don't think it's going to be twisting anybody's arm. I'm going to I'm going to come up with a good one because we have next week is oh well a week from this no the end of this week. Logan, we need to wrap this. This is like a I'm getting minute, there. This is like a 15 I'm minute video on the terrible there. movie. Just wrap it. I'm getting there. The end of this week's Logan. The week after that, I believe is. What did I tell you? Dang it, I forgot it. Uh, uh, the the third is Logan. The tenth is another movie that I wanted to see. I cannot think about it. I'll put it here. And the seventeenth is Beauty and the Beast. And we shall see how those are doing. Uh, one of the one of the shows I watch online. I watch a lot of movie talk shows and stuff to know what's kind of what's going on. So I enjoy it. Play it in the background. One guy is. Has been saying for months that the live action Beauty and the Beast will make $200 million opening weekend. What's your thoughts on that? $200 million. Now, one, Beauty and the Beast is a follow, favorite. I don't follow movies enough to get, have context for that. Uh, well, you're thinking that, like, I don't think either of the Star Wars broke $200 million for its weekend. And but, you're thinking a live action Beauty and the Beast? Film? Yeah, because of how big the uh, animated and stage play Beauty and the Beast were. That's what I, he keeps saying. I'm not agreeing. I just think the argument is funny. I don't think if Star Wars didn't do it, this one needs not do it. Well, I will say this: not the same demographic, but I understand your thought. Star Wars is king shit of the universe. Hey, we got another one coming out at the end of this year. So, The Last Jedi. So, as usual. Like, subscribe, let us know if you guys do see this movie, you know, who knows. Uh, let us know what you guys think, and if there's any other movies coming out soon that you want us to see, uh, any of the big ones we're planning on already seeing, probably. But, uh, like, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram, and until next time. Thanks for staying till after the credits. And when in doubt, just uh, bungee jump off a big wall with a And while you're naked and carrying a magnet for safety. Both at the same time. <laughs> <laughs>